In this question, we're told that the density of ethanol is 1.09 grams per centimetre cubed. We're then told that the density of propylene is 0.97 grams per centimetre cubed. 60 litres of ethanol are mixed with 128 litres of propylene to make 188 litres of antifreeze. And we need to work out the density of the antifreeze, giving our answer correct to two decimal places. Now we can see that we have quite a few different units here, so we need to make sure that our units are the same throughout the question. Now for density, we're using the units grams per centimetre cubed. But then we're told that 60 litres of ethanol are mixed with 128 litres of propylene. Now the litre is a quantity for volume, and the quantity for volume used in our density is centimetres cubed. And so there are two things that we need to know before we start this question. The first is that one litre is equal to 1,000 centimetres cubed. And the second is that density is equal to mass divided by the volume. And so those 60 litres of ethanol is equivalent to 60,000 centimetres cubed. And the 128 litres of propylene is equivalent to 128,000 centimetres cubed. Now to find the density of the antifreeze, we need to know the mass of the antifreeze and the volume of the antifreeze. We're told that the volume of the antifreeze is 188 litres, which is equal to 188,000 centimetres cubed. But we need to find the mass of the antifreeze. And to find the mass of the antifreeze, we can find the mass of 60 litres of ethanol and the mass of 128 litres of propylene and add these values together. So let's start by finding the mass of 60 litres of ethanol. Now using our formula for density, we can say that the mass is equal to the density multiplied by the volume. And so to find the mass of 60 litres of ethanol, we did the density of 1.09 multiplied by 60,000 centimetres cubed. And so 1.09 multiplied by 60,000 is equal to 65,400 grams. Now we can do the same for the propylene. Now to find the mass, we'll do the density multiplied by the volume, which is equal to 0.97 multiplied by 128,000, which will leave us with a mass of 124,160 grams. And so we can say that the total mass of antifreeze is equal to 65,400 plus 124,160, which is equal to 189,560 grams. Well, now we can find the density of antifreeze by doing the mass of the antifreeze divided by the volume of the antifreeze. We know that the mass of the antifreeze is 189,560 grams, and we know that the volume of the antifreeze is 188,000 centimetres cubed. And so when we put these values into our calculator, we can see that the density of antifreeze is equal to 1.00829787 dot 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 grams per centimetres cubed, and we need to give our answer correct to two decimal places. And so we can say that the density of antifreeze is equal to 1.01 grams per centimetres cubed to two decimal places. Now this question is worth four marks. We get the first mark for finding the mass of 60 litres of ethanol. We get the second mark for finding the mass of 128 litres of propylene. We get the third mark for a process to find the density of antifreeze by doing the mass of antifreeze divided by the volume of antifreeze. And we get the fourth mark for getting a correct final answer that the density of antifreeze is equal to 1.01 grams per centimetres cubed to two decimal places. Allowing us to get the full four marks needed in this question.